Hello, Gemini. What's up, guys? This is Star with Eyes of the Stars Tarot. I'm going to be doing your love reading today for May. Let's see what you guys have going on in love. Love for Gemini. Okay, we have the sun. So we're starting off really well. One of the best cards in tarot. Two major arcana here so far. Right at the middle. So, Wheel of Fortune. Ooh, third major arcana. Hermit in reverse. Okay, let's see here. I feel like there's um, a definite sense of like uh, either learning something or um, figuring something out. Uh, you know, clarity. Clarity through knowledge. Newly acquired knowledge or something that you've found out okay but it's causing a challenge so the challenge here is a change a change in cycle in the past we have the knight of pentacles you could have been dealing with a taurus virgo or a capricorn or there could have been a situation that uh, was moving along very slowly page of swords as what's crowning you so i'm actually starting to think though because of the page of swords here that whatever it was that you found out and because the wheel of fortune is is coming up here as a, a challenge to you whatever you found out may not have been something positive or you may not have taken it as something positive what else what else for gemini Ace of Swords, more truth. That's near future. How you see yourself. Knight of Wands, reverse. Energy around you. Or your partner's energy. The Fool. Another major arcana. Whoa. Let's do that again. So let's ask for some advice for Gemini. What is the advice for Gemini with regards to the situation? Oh, goodness. Okay. No. <laughs> advice for Gemini with regards to the situation. There we go. Six of Cups reverse. And the overall outcome. Okay, so the overall outcome is the Eight of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Swords reverse. So a healing, a healing, let's see, change, healing, yeah. Change, healing after some type of revelation or something that was found out, maybe a secret that came out. Hmm. Okay, let's clarify. Alright, I definitely need to see what the sun is all about. Maybe this is about clarity, finding something out, a truth. Queen of Pentacles. So again, we have Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Prince of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and the Five of Wands in reverse. I'm getting here for some of you, um, there's a realization of your value, the value that you're, you bring to a relationship, the love that you have to offer. Uh, and I feel that either you don't want to be in competition, maybe someone was putting you in, you know, maybe they had more options or whatever the case may be, or th this doesn't even have to be about options. This could be just uh, simply other people putting their noses into a relationship and you are uh, having this realization that, you know, I'm good enough. I don't, I don't need this. Kind of nonsense. Let's see. 
Why is the Wheel of Fortune? Ooh, the Ten of Swords. Yeah, so this has to do with an ending. <clears throat> Five of Cups, Disappointment. And the hangman in reverse so it's it's a, it is a realization you're seeing something from a, a different perspective a whole new light um, and you're feeling like you may need to either end a relationship or change the situation um, but I'm getting here that what what is being revealed to you is your own worth your self-worth see what this hermit is telling us prince of wands the fool the star again a healing a sense of healing here with the star I feel like whatever um, was revealed to you or you you realize this could have been through like research uh, you could have been looking through somebody's uh, phone calls or emails or something like that <clears throat> where I feel that you you realize that somebody was taking risks uh, maybe risks with your love with your heart but it's very difficult for you even even in spite of this revelation it's very difficult for you to walk away let's see in the past the Knight of Pentacles Queen of Cups reverse. Seven of Cups. Somebody had a lot of options. The Moon and Secrets. I feel that um, some of you Geminis are involved with a person who has a lot of difficulty committing. Um, they're very much accustomed and used to that sort of player type of behavior, uh, taking risks, being free. I, I don't know that they're necessarily the type of, or this could be you, okay? So take it however it resonates. This definitely could be you. Um, but I'm getting here that someone, could be you, <clears throat> is uh, becoming wise to the fact that whoever you're with is a commitment phobe or just someone who finds it difficult to commit even though they, they may not be a commitment phobe necessarily but it's just not in their nature okay um and i feel like this person you 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 feel now looking back that they either strung you along played with your emotions while they were still entertaining other options on the side so what's crowding you is the page of swords in reverse you could definitely be spying there's a sense of spying with the the hermit and the page of swords here and the in the sun i definitely feel like there was some spying going on or perhaps still going on four of cups reverse because you may be thinking you know i deserve better than what i'm seeing what I've uh, stumbled upon and you may be thinking of letting go altogether but it's very difficult I see this being very difficult a very difficult decision for you to make uh, maybe you feel like you don't have all the facts yet three of wands yeah so this is about the future 
you want to um, dig, you know, dig for more information, dig for more truth, so that you can figure out in the, for your future, should I let go of all the, you know, that whatever you're holding on to, this situation that doesn't doesn't bring you happiness. Seven of Wands. Yeah, you're trying to stand up for yourself and defend yourself against someone who hasn't been treating you right. So in the near future, we do have this Ace of Swords. Truth, Revelation. We have the Empress Reverse. What is this truth? Justice in Reverse. Yeah, the, the, somebody has been lying, um, keeping secrets, uh, and you're finding out. I feel like you've found out already, but there's there may still be more to go, and you know that, and that's why you're still spying, because you want to know everything. Okay, and the lovers in reverse. That is your card, Gemini. I feel like whatever it is, that, that final truth that you find out, it, it, it's going to be the nail in the coffin. You're going to say, you know, there there's nothing more for me to, um, th this relationship is just not going to flourish any further. And so there is a difficult decision that will be made here with regards to your relationship. For some of you, this is a marriage, okay? So the Justice card can speak about divorce. So there may be some truth leading to a divorce. An unhappy wife I see here with the Empress in reverse. The Empress in reverse with the Lover's card in reverse can also mean a, a mistress. So be careful, you know, with that. I do get the sense that there is someone who, who has been um, keeping uh, other options on the side. And we do have that Prince of Wands here, a player energy, with the Fool especially. Um, this person could have had like a long distance relationship with someone, maybe like an old, an old love and, you know, high school romance or, you know, whatever. Or there was a lot of fantasy around around this the situation on the side okay how you see yourself is the knight of wands in reverse so i'm getting this as like kind of angry very angry very heated two of wands reverse yeah feeling like you need to now make a choice that will change the course of your life altogether king of wands in reverse yeah I'm getting a lot of anger that you even have, have been put in this situation where you have to make this choice. Now, the energy around you, your partner's energy is the fool. So again, he, he or she is this fool, taking risks, taking chances, not really measuring any kind of consequence. Yeah, and it didn't work out too well for them. Look at that. We have the Six of Wands in reverse. So these risks that they were taking, not a good idea. But I, I, I sense you being very strong, Gemini. I feel like you, um, you're you not going to be defeated in this situation. Two of Swords. Yeah, there were decisions made here that didn't work out for this person. Temperance in reverse. Uh, you know what they say temperance is a virtue they they just did not um, measure their steps too well your advice is the six of cups in reverse the sun so the sun is here twice I am getting this as allow yourself even though there's good memories with this person the, your partner there are good memories but you also have to allow yourself to see the negative aspects of of the relationship don't idealize this person um because i feel like that's what's making this so difficult is that oh you know we had this this past and we had this connection and yeah that doesn't change you had that connection you have that past you have those memories but you also have to remember the other stuff that this person has done you know because it seems to me like they've always had these options and they've always kind of strung you along or played with your emotions in one way or one way or another the seven of pentacles and this deck is failure 
I'm, I'm, I'm feeling here that, you know, if you continue to do the same thing over and over again, you're going to get the same result. So giving this person one more opportunity after opportunity after opportunity is just going to get you the same result that you have always gotten. So the overall outcome, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Clarified by the Strength card in reverse. The Prince of Swords, that is your energy. And the Prince of Pentacles. So again, Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like um, the overall outcome is that you're going to be working and putting in a lot of energy into yourself, into building yourself back up because I feel like this really uh, kind of messed with your self-esteem and that's not something that is acceptable at all. So I, I, I do get the sense that you are going to allow yourself to see the truth of the situation and all the energy that you've been putting into this relationship, you're now going to be putting this into yourself. Prince of Swords, and moving yourself out of this rut, this uh, stagnancy that you're in. But first of all, you have to build up your courage, your strength, your your uh, self-esteem, like I said. So it makes perfect sense that at the bottom of the deck, we did have this Three of Swords in reverse because the overall energy of this um, whole reading is that you are going to be working on your healing, self-healing, self um, um It's like you're, you're you're going to need a period of time for like re to replenish yourself. Okay, let's see what else we have. We're gonna pick some cards from the Twin Flames messages um, deck here, so that we can see your partner how what their thoughts are about you. What are they thinking through all this ordeal? first card we have I wasn't ready for you <clears throat> excuse me I miss you regardless of how things seem please don't take what happened personally it's not you it's me absolutely I finally I'm finally feeling the consequences of my my actions we did see that you are an angel so they really are coming into the the reality uh, that they have lost you, that they had a good thing and they let it go because of their immaturity, their their um, their inability to be committed, to be truthful. Let's see what else we have with the Island Time Wellness cards. Sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. So I, I get the sense that they were in the relationship, but they mentally had ch checked out. You know, they were elsewhere. So they may have been with you, but in their mind, they were outside, you know, with others, with in, in other situations. They weren't necessarily focused the way they should have been on the commitment. <clears throat> they do still miss you. Karmic relationship, okay? So this may have been a karmic situation that you were dealing with. And uh, with karmic situations, there is an intense bond. There is an intense attraction to each other. So they do still miss you. Fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. Even though they have let go or they are being forced to let go, they still have feelings for you. Please don't take what happened personally. It's not you, it's me. Addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block, restraint. 
So it's it's really this person. They don't. They may have an addiction, like a sex addiction, or they just don't know how to be in a healthy relationship. So there, it's nothing that you did. It's definitely this person and their inability to be committed. I'm finally feeling the consequences of my actions. Passion, insane chemistry, like each other equally, having fun. This is their addiction, passion. They're addicted to, uh, you know, those initial moments when you meet someone and you feel that excitement. Uh, and, and they always acted upon it. And now they're feeling the consequences. You are an angel. Coffee cup, meeting, conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. They miss your presence in their life. They miss, um, you know, the, the way that they were able to confide in you, that, that they knew that you were always there for them. And they know that they completely messed this up. So I hope this reading was helpful for you, Gemini. I wish you the best of luck, and I'll see you guys again in um, June. Bye-bye.